um, if you do greater than, greater than, so now you're saying if num is greater than 10, but it's not, then do this. If not, go here. So let's try that out. Exactly. So here it says it's looking at num and it's seeing if num is greater than 10, but it's not because it is 10. We can use another sign also. We can do is greater than or equal to. So this means if num is greater than 10 or equal to 10, go here. So seeing as this is the case, it should print out hi John. There we go. There are even more things you can put in here. You can put uh, an exclamation mark. Now an exclamation mark basically means not or opposite of. So here you're saying num does not equal 10. So seeing as num does equal 10, it should say your name is John. Yeah, there we go. Because it's saying num is checking num, num equals 10. So num is not not equal to 10. So it goes to the else statement where it says your name is jo not John. Um, now, using these things, I want you to try a exercise. So, the exercise is, a phone call costs one euro per minute. If the call is made at night, it costs nothing. And if the call is long distance, the cost per minute of the phone call is increased by 50 cents. I want you to make a program which calculates the cost of calls with your own variables. With your own variables means that you determine uh, how many minutes the, the call is, you determine whether it's a night call, you determine whether it's a um, long distance call, etc. As a bonus, but first I want you to complete this, but as a bonus, try and incorporate this into your program. If the call lasts more than 5 minutes, the cost per minute after the first 5 minutes is increased by 50 cents. So that means, for example, if you call for five uh, for six minutes um, and it's not long distance then you pay f one euro per minute for five minutes and then 1.5 euro per minute for one minute uh, I pause the video now and see if you can do that and after you play the video again I will show you what I did to solve this problem now of course we can have uh, many different ways of solving the problem with code that's the great thing about it but I'm going to show you my code and go through it step by step so you understand every single bit. So pause the video now. And once you've finished, uh, replay the video and I'll show you a step by step uh, walkthrough of the problem. Okay, so firstly, I declared all my variables and I gave them values. So first, I made a double named cost per minute. So this is um, how, how much it costs per minute of call time. And I set that as one, one euro per minute. Then I declared another double uh, variable called total cost. So that is the total cost at the end of the, um, of the call. And I set that to zero because you haven't started calling yet. Um, then I made a string called night. So that's is the variable that says have you made a night call have you made a day call um here i've set it to no so no that the call is not a night call here i've made another string called long distance and i've set that to no also so no the call is not long distance then i've set um another double called minutes so this is how long the phone call is and i've set that to six and now I've got another double called bonus, so that is for the bonus question. So first I'm going to go for, through this first bit. So here I've made an if statement. I've said if the night call, uh, uh, if night dot equals yes, so that means if it is a night call, then the cost per minute is nothing and the bonus is nothing. I also forgot a small line of code. So here you also say total cost equals zero. Um, so that is done. 
So basically now it's saying if it is a night call, so if night equals yes, then the total cost equals nothing. And then I've made an else if statement. So otherwise, if the night call dot equals no, or I can just cut that to else if I wanted to, but I've put else if just in case. Uh, so if night calls equals no, th uh, then it goes to this line of program here. So everything between this bracket here and this bracket here. So all of this. So this happens if the night call is uh, if the call is not a night call. So now I've said if long distance dot equals yes. So if it is a long distance call, cost per minute plus equals 0.5. So now I'm saying I'm adding 0.5 to the cost per minute if it is a long distance call. If um, the minutes are greater than 5, so if um, minutes, yeah, so if minutes are greater than 5, then it goes to this line of code. Here it says bonus equals cost per minute plus 0.5, so I'm not going to go through that. And here I say total cost equals 5 times cost per minute plus minutes minus five times bonus, but I'm not going to go through that yet. Um, if you haven't done the bonus, you'll just have this probably. Else if minutes are lower than five, total cost equals minutes multiplied by cost per minute. So now you're setting the variable total cost, which used to be zero, equal to minutes, so how many minutes you did, six in this case, multiplied by the cost per minute. So how many how many euros per um per minute it costs then at the end of the line of code so out of all these brackets out uh, away from all these brackets i've told the system to print out the dollars plus total cost so now if we run it the cost calls uh, the cost is 6.5 dollars now let's say i made it a long distance call Now the cost is $9.5 per minute. If I've made it a night call, this cost is $0 per minute. That's because now the program is saying dot night dot equals yes, so that means total cost equals nothing. Now let's go to the bonus bit because this was a little more complicated. So what I've said is if the minutes it greater than 5, which in this case it is because it's 6, do this line of code. Bonus equals cost per minute plus 0.5. So now you're saying this double, bonus, uh, is c the same as cost per minute plus 0 0.5. So that means um, in this line, the total cost equals 5 times the cost per minute. So for the first 5 minutes, it's the cost per minute plus minutes minus five, so how many other minutes there are left in the call uh, after the five minutes of calling, multiplied by the bonus. So multiplied by the cost per minute plus 0 0.5. So now if I make it along as, so now if I make a call that's six minutes long, it's saying five times the cost per minute plus one times the bonus. And the bonus is the cost per minute plus 0 0.5. Thank you for watching my video. I hoped you enjoyed it. I hoped it, I hope it was educational. I hope it helped. If you have any suggestions, just tell me in my YouTube channel or comment or send me a personal message. Thank you.